Yoo-hoo! Now you got the background going a little bit? Yeah, yeah, it's getting there. Yeah, I got off early, I was just like fucking jonesing, so. Yeah. I'm basically just trying to get this gradient done in the next like half an hour or so, so I can start rolling out this background. Oh, you're gonna use roller for that? Yeah, I'll show you the color too. It's kind of like the home base back here. But yeah, so that color is gonna be that main background. Would you say you have any signature colors, like ones you just keep going back to? Light pinks, yeah. light pinks for sure. After the main fills are done, then I start getting a feeling for like um, colors and like sometimes it changes too. Yeah. Like sometimes I'll just go back and like, with this last one I repainted the background like three times or something yeah. because it just wasn't working. So you'll make changes in the moment? Yeah, usually. I'll walk around and stuff and then just take reference photos, but yeah, like this broken chain link is gonna be going in there. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's like the whole... Um, yeah, or just part of that like foreground building pretty much to... And also trying to keep some of this like environment yeah. in the mural too, which is important. Like obviously around here it's kind of like... It's gritty. It's as gritty. Fuck. For sure. And like, I don't know, there's like trash laying around and there's like cigarette butts. And like, some of that is included in the mural. Like, that's something that I might change or like add to. Yeah. Just because I like that, like, when you get here, that's what you feel like. I mean, like, you're walking around and you're like, okay. Yeah. You want it to match. Yeah, yeah. I want it to have some of, like, some of that feeling. I want it to kind of reflect its environment, too. Huh. You don't wear a mask with spray paint? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Not really. Do you get high from it? I mean, you can, I probably. Like if you're spray painting all day, do you feel? I think it's just more bad for you at this point. I mean, I don't get high off it's of it. It's not as fun as it is just unhealthy. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta smell good. Like when I was young, I mean, then it probably was getting me high. But I remember painting with it and like just fiending for that smell. Like it's almost nostalgic now. It's such a signature smell. You can't get it anywhere I used else. to think it smelled like peanut butter. Really? But I don't think it does. I mean, not anymore. But Maybe uh, you were just eating some really chemical filled peanut butter. <laughs> you started spray painting around 17? Yeah, beginning of high school. Just like angsty kids, you know. Was it this style or was it tagging? Or? It was more like tagging and stuff and just seeing like a bunch of graphs. And then also like, I think that like time in my life, it was like um, finally starting to like recognize some things with myself too. Like you were starting to know yourself more? Yeah, yeah. And I think like once I found that, it felt like I was like, okay, like something doing something right. Well, it sounds like your art's changed a lot if it started with graffiti writing mm -hmm. and now you're here which is yeah I think so kind of I like mean surrealism I would say yeah in that in that vein I use some of these symbols that like I started with when I like start, first started making prints and work like houses and you know weeds and like overgrown like decrepit almost things that are being taken over a lot of my work's about like holding on to like relationships or like objects, relationships to objects, relationships to whatever, like trying to let go. Anything specific you're letting go of? Um, you know, just commitment, I think, to this idea of like who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing. And so I'm kind of just trying to like let go of that and just make to make at times. And if you know, what I'm feeling comes through, then that's awesome, I think. You could get caught up in whatever people expect of you. A lot of it's like expectations of myself and what I should do, which probably stems from some of that, I guess. More like high, uh, high expectations to do your best every time. Yeah, which I think I try to hold on to that. Um, but sometimes that can, for me, that can lock me up if yeah. I'm, I'm like, putting pressure on myself to do something great, uh, sometimes the best things happen when you're not. No, for pressure. sure. Where you're just like, yeah, you're painting to paint or... 
I don't know, I think it goes both ways. This image is more like nostalgic for me and you know, it's got like a train in this portal and this like almost dreamlike portal that you're going into. But yeah, I think a lot of other work too has these feelings of like overtaking, you know, overwhelming feeling of like uh, loss or, and I try and like contrast that with pastel colors and stuff so that it's, um, that someone could come up to it and be like, oh, this is really pretty and you know, this yeah. is like attracted to the colors, but once you're there and you're looking, you kind of start to see, um, or I hope so, that you start to see other, you know, meanings in the, the symbols and stuff. I think that's a fun thing about it is, uh, it's really open for interpretation. Yeah, yeah. And so a lot of people, especially right here, where they could get stuck behind the train for an hour, yeah. and they could just be looking at it. For sure. They, they could just try to figure out what it means, and everyone will come to their own conclusion. I hope so. I mean, that's like ultimately what I want. Um, and yeah, I think sometimes when you're really trying to lock it down and um, inject this meaning into something, Sometimes it loses it, you know? Yeah, so like when you're looking at a blank page, you're trying to start something new. Uh -huh. Where do you start? Where, what's like the seed of the idea? Most mm. I guess the seed would be like the feeling that I need to make something, obviously. And then trying to like explore how I'm feeling or like what I'm trying to portray that day. And then I'll take like a walk and just like look at objects and like I like this, like that that broken chain link. Like when I was around here, I was like, whoa, that's an interesting feeling or look. And I was like, you look into that box, it's like it's a whole like that, all those things in there represent all this shit that's going yeah. on. I feel like there's like needles and like this old dress that's like torn apart and it's like uh -huh. Really gorgeous at the same time, like it's weird. Um, yeah, there's a whole little world in here. No, for sure. But uh, I, but uh, it's also the type of thing no one would take a second glance at. No, I, I think most people would think that's gross. Uh, a little dress, some hyper. But yeah, like even the dress, like I was, like I might do some type of like cloth or like pattern like that in the mural. Do you have any like habits or routines or like disciplined practices to be productive? Honestly, not right now, dude. I mean, I'm trying. Like right now I have like back-to-back -back murals. Like that was huge. I'm kind of a spontaneous person where it's like if I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Yeah. If I'm not, it's not gonna happen. Do you draw every day? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So you, you do that? Drawing, yeah. Don't... Tell yourself you have to do it for no, X I don't. Of time. But I like that idea. It's like I guess I'm trying to get there. I mean, I would if I could just paint murals. That's what I would do. You usually make this a reaction to whatever space it's in. Yeah. So when someone goes to you and they say they want a mural, mm -hmm. do you you never just pick something that you already have available? You create something fresh just for the wall? For the most part. It's your dad. John. John. <laughs> hey. So basically I'm going to start at one area and then base the measurements off that. How late are you going to go? Until sundown? Yeah, probably. That's the plan. Sundown. Sundown. Sundown is when it all goes down. So like these corners need to get hit. And then I can go up here on the extension ladder and start smoothing out the top. You get more excited as you get closer to the end. For sure. That definitely happens with editing, where like the first day of an edit, is the worst and yeah. it's boring and you just sift through and it's not watchable and then towards the end you're like oh this i just want to keep rewatching this. yeah it's now like it's okay good. this flow you yeah, feel it and, yeah and then you're just like refining small little things to make it just a little bit better and a little bit better 
I think I get that's when I get lost for sure, which yeah. is good. Yeah, I love that feeling. The further you get towards the finish line, the easier it is to get excited about it. Yeah, I think so. You know, when you think of art, do you see the whole final image all at once, or do you start with just like a little piece and then just build off? Of it? Definitely a little piece and build. Yeah. Like I'll start with like with this one. I knew that I wanted like sharp pieces of wood jutting in. Yeah, I kind of just built from there, and then I came here and started looking around. And I've been wanting to do stuff with trains in it, or a train, yeah. and it was perfect. You got this choo-choo right here. The choo-choo comes, yeah. You think it's done with the fill down here? Um, Let me get this little section, and then we can start measuring. Fuck you. What? No, it's I mean, fucking right. It's fucking 16 to the fucking... Why do you think it's not right? I don't know. Just... I know it. Like, I I know it in my soul, but I can't, I can't see what you're doing up It is. Here. It looks good. I guess I'm not a person that think that thinks like everything's art. Yeah. Um, I think there has to be like intention. I think like expression with some sort of intention. Like where does your creativity come from? Hmm. I think like a lot of inspiration for me is like friends and family, you know? When you're with friends and you, you're doing something and it's like this like feeling of like wanting to like run or like, you know, make this thing. You seem good at getting inspiration from unexpected places. Yeah, maybe. Um, I hope so. I mean, yeah, it's definitely random, obviously. It's, I don't think there's like an equation for me at least. Like there's not a thing I do to feel inspired. Like it's definitely, not a rare thing, but it feels like when it happens, you, you know it's happening. It's like, oh, I want to make now. There's like points in my life, it. yeah, where I didn't want to make shit for like six yeah. months or something. It's just like I want to get, I want to drink and. When you felt hang that out. way, were you trying to like kickstart your inspiration? No. You just waiting I mean, to like, hit again. I think it was more of just like, I didn't want to do shit and I wasn't inspired to do anything. I just wasn't like, I didn't feel it. Like that feeling is so, you know, natural, I feel like that, yeah. that spark. Yeah. Um, I guess, and that's like creativity to me is like that feeling of like, oh shit, I want to go, or whatever it is, yeah. It's and you like, seem but, like you're always keeping your eye out for pieces of inspiration. It's almost mm -hmm. like you're gathering and collecting inspiration. When I'm open to it, yeah, I'm like absorbing. Yeah. But there's, yeah, like I was saying, there's been times where I'm just fucking, you know, You're not doing my shit every day and you get stuck in it. How do you get open to it? That's what I, I don't know. I don't, like, I guess I don't have an answer for that. It's hard for me to force it. Yeah, that feeling is awesome for me. And for me, it makes me want to do stuff like this. Cool. Yeah, that is cool. I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, I don't really like think about it that much. I kind of just do it. It just happens. And when it's happening, I'm like, I feel fucking good.